perfect. Whereas you can see here, this is where I had breakfast, and that all stayed within target. But then when it came to my <laughs> mid-morning snack slash brunch, um, I didn't quite get the carb counting right. And you can see here with where the bolus kicked in, all the bolus insulin going in caused my level to drop quite sharply. And even though the suspenders kicked in here by this orange shaded area, it wasn't enough because I put in quite a lot of bolus insulin to stop me going low. So my learning from this is I might actually put the alert before low on during the day so that I get alerted when I have maybe put too much bolus in. I can then think about maybe do I need to do do something extra. So this didn't obviously prevent my hypo here because I over bolused. And then quite similar here you can see all these boluses in the afternoon. Um, it was a very unusual day for me where it was at a buffet style lunch and I kept going back and having extra bit of carbs and you can see all these little boluses going in and then I did go above 12 so I got an alert and then I, once all this bolus ki insulin kicked in I then ended up just drifting hypo again towards the sort of 4 or 5 o'clock and again because there's a lot of bolus got insulin going in the stop in the basal wasn't enough so there's probably two learnings for me here one is to start with the alerts on during the day for when I'm predicted to go low and maybe I need to think about having that suspend before low a little bit higher so the stop in the basal might be more effective as well. So a couple of learnings for me to take on board there but there's a, a real life picture so it worked a treat overnight to prevent in the hypos but during the day when I've over bolus maybe a few times that extra bolus insulin has been a little bit too aggressive um, to stop the lows so maybe I need the alert on during the day or to set the, the suspend before low a little bit higher but it's all going to be a learning process and um, so now um, we'll be off to the gym and I'll explain what I'm going to do to that in a second Okay, so off to the gym. We've got first one hour of circuit training, which is things like sit-ups, press-ups, burpees, so um, pretty high intensity, and then followed by 45 minutes of yoga. <clears throat> so my plan is I'm gonna put a temporary basal on of 50% for three hours, starting now, which is half an hour before, and that'll last for the two hours of the activity, um, and then a good half an hour afterwards. And alongside that, I'm gonna be keeping um, my glucose tablets on hand and I will start with having probably four or five at the start and then halfway, well probably after half an hour I'll check my BG and then if it's in target I'll have another um, three or four. So I'm working on the idea of about 20 to 30 grams per hour along with a temp basil. So I'm going to test out one of the new functions on the pump which is my preset temporary. So I've already set that up. So if I go down to in fact, let's go back. I go into my basal menu. I've got my preset temp basal, the one that I set up on high activity. So click on that and it tells me it's going to start at half six. My class starts at seven. 50% of my normal is taking it down to 0.3. And then because my basal changes at seven o'clock in the evening, um, it's normally at 0.5, it takes it down to 0.275. So if I click on begin here, It's begun, and you can see the little T's on there. Perfect. Right. Let's get busy with the activity. Gym finished. Very tired. Um, time for tea, not too much time to make anything else but some uh, baked beans and scrambled egg. So cow counting for me for baked beans. You can see that for half a tin there is 25 grams of carbs but of that 7 grams is fibre. So in the full tin that's 50 grams of carbs and 14 grams of fibre. So because the fibre doesn't get digested I count basically 30, roughly 35 grams for that. So 35 grams in. The temporary basils work to treat for the exercise, so gourmet baked beans, here we come.
you have still got 2.2 units of active interest. silent on the veil as last night it woke me up before going to bed and hope that the uh, is one of those that sorted people with jobs. So, see you in the morning, but until then, sweet dreams.